What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove a screen door lock, especially if it's in a condition like this. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so I need to replace the screen door lock here. We've got our brand new one ready to be replaced, however somebody has already tried to remove it and caused a lot of damage because they simply didn't know how to remove it properly. So if we have a quick look, They've put a screwdriver through here pretty much in every little gap possible and tried to pry it out. Of course, damaged everywhere, everything swollen inside. The screen door is swollen now. This is the original thickness and then it just blows out down here. The actual lock body itself is stuck inside and we're going to have to do the worst case scenario here to remove it, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what's happened. So what you generally have to do is first and foremost you remove the locking screw from the side to remove the cylinder here now this cylinder here is stuck inside with the lock body so the lock body will slide out from the side but in order to get that cartridge out or the lock body out you need to first remove this cylinder here because it's in the way and to remove this cylinder like i said you remove that locking screw that's going to free it up just slightly you can see there it's wiggling around but the reason why it doesn't slide out is there's a little cam here on the side that just simply sits out on the side here and catches onto the lock body so that's going to stop it from being um, removed nice and easily and i've shown you guys a few other methods to remove it if you don't have the keys so first and foremost is down here through the side you'll see there's a little bit of a gap right there on the side of the body and what you want to do is take something nice and thin and you can manually fish that cam out and just simply flick it up to the side um, the second way to do it is to pick the lock if you know how to pick it if not i'm pretty sure i've got a video on that if not if you guys want to see how to do that let me know in the comment section below and i'll show you guys how to do it um, but in this case here we can't actually do either of those methods and the reason for that is they've caused so much damage in here if we have a look inside all these moving parts that were originally moving parts are now completely broken inside the latch is stuck inside a little pin here is stuck inside everything's completely damaged and super loose so there's no way this one here is going to work i've actually got the original key just to show you guys so if we turn that one there you can see it's not doing anything at all so fishing that manually probably won't help either um, and also picking the lock won't work because we've got no ability to completely release that one there everything's stuck inside so the last option here that we've got is to snap the lock so it's actually a pretty easy process um, it'll cost you five dollars or ten dollars to replace the actual cylinder but this one here will get you out of trouble so i'm going to show you guys how to snap this lock here and hopefully you guys will avoid any kind of damage looking like this because this is absolutely ridiculous not much we can do with the body of the door now i can try straighten it a little bit but all this damage here along the side even where our screws go in they've completely damaged them you can see there they've completely pushed everything through every little gap they could find they pretty much tried with a screwdriver to blow it all out didn't really work this one here's even swollen up on top you can see it's separated good job at damaging this door here so i'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to remove by snapping the lock all right so to remove this one here what we need is either two adjustable wrenches or two multi-grips and the face here is already off so we've got plenty of access on either side all you need to do is simply bite on one side like this do the same on the other side try get a nice good grip and then you simply want to push it out and then back in so it's going to snap one way and then we're going to snap it the other way so you can hear there that one there is snapped we'll pull it back the other way now that side is out and now that side is out as well so if we have a quick look now you can see the little cam is still inside and that's what's actually preventing it from coming out once the um, cylinder was attached so now that we've got that out we should be able to slide this one here completely out now this one here is in pretty bad shape so it's going to be a little bit harder than usual you can see just how swollen that all is
usually this one here would just come straight out but I need to make sure we've got enough wiggle room because it's completely swollen now that we've got it out you can see just how bowed that all is the plate here is completely damaged the inner components are all released springs are everywhere all our little bits and pieces are broken and that there guys is the absolute last resort so that you don't create any damage like this now we've got this one here out i can simply replace a new one but hopefully this video here is going to get you guys out of trouble and help you out as always guys like comment and subscribe until next time i'm bill thanks for watching bills out too